Too often I hear about people that want to fight to the death for their particular belief or cause. And in doing so, they tend to put down everyone else that might think slightly different from them. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 15, it says, Always seek to do good to one another. To be a cooperator does not mean that you're giving up power. It means that you're joining a force to get things done. I ask you to consider being a willing and a loving cooperator with God and humans. Everything that we see about us, all the good things, the great things in life, came into being through cooperation. Think about it. Our homes, our food, our clothing are the result of cooperation. The world that we dream of, the perfect world that God meant for humans to live in, is evolving through cooperation with humans and humans with God. If we doubt for a moment the power of cooperation, we might ask, being in Houston, I know this, you might ask an astronaut if he walked on the moon or spent months in the space station without the cooperation of many hearts and minds, without the cooperation of the prayers of many hearts. Let us consider how we can better cooperate with each other and with family members and with neighbors and with the people that we work with and our community and our world. Let us think of the ways that we can help and actually bless one another. Cooperation involves consideration, determination, and positive God-directed action. Today, let our prayer be, I am a willing and loving cooperator with God and humans.